Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Creo Transformers Autobot Jazz Constructible Figure Set by Hasbro. This set is number 31146 and contains 122 pieces. This set was first available around 2011 or 12 and could be found at most retailers uh, at that time. I got this set in 2012 uh, at a store called Fry's Electronics and paid about $10 for the set. Taking a look at the packaging here, you can see the nice box uh, that the uh, Trans Creo Transformers is uh, stored in. And on the front of the box we have uh, Jazz in both modes of the uh, Bot mode and the Alt mode here. And also you can see that uh, this particular set contains two Creons, uh, one of uh, Autobot Jazz and one of uh, the Race Driver. On the side of the box here you can see a generic Creon figure there uh, shown it in its actual size. On the other side here we have a nice close-up of the Creon of uh, Jazz which is uh, pretty cool. And here on the back of the box we have a, yet again another picture of Jazz in both modes here and I believe uh, the set contains uh, enough pieces to construct only uh, one of the two modes so you'd either have to build uh, jazz in the uh, alt mode or in the bot mode there another picture of the crayons that are included and on the bottom of the box here we have other uh, Creo transformer sets that are available we have bumblebee and mirage now we'll be right back and have uh, this Creo transformer out of the box Okay, we're back and we have the contents of the Creo Transformer Autobot Jazz here out of the box. And as you can see, it comes with uh, quite a few uh, items here uh, in a small uh, little package, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at each of these items uh, one by one. And uh, we have here the assembly manual uh, to put uh, Jazz together in either the alt mode or the bot mode there. And... Uh, it's pretty detailed and also how to put the uh, crayons together as well. And you can see here that uh, to put uh, Jazz together in his alt mode it's a level uh, difficulty of uh, 2. And to put uh, Jazz together in bot mode it's just a little bit uh, more difficult uh, at level 3. So that's kind of pretty interesting. And uh, flip through here you can see all of the pages. Uh, that show the assembly of uh, Jazz here and it looks like uh, the first part is for the uh, alt mode of a racing car and then the second half is uh, for Jazz in his uh, bot mode which is uh, pretty interesting on there and at the end uh, we have a parts list of all of the items uh, included in this particular uh, package on there and uh, a little advertisement for other uh, Creo uh, transformers there so that's uh, pretty neat uh, next thing we'll take a look at is uh, here uh, this is the sticker sheet uh, looks like uh, you can apply some stickers uh, for various locations of the figure uh, to make it uh, I guess blend well better with jazz uh, he has his trademark number four, the uh, Autobot symbol there, and uh, his iconic colors of blue, red, and uh, either white or gray. So, uh, pretty neat. And uh, not too many stickers there to apply. Next thing uh, we'll take a look at are these bags here. I came with a total of, uh, looks like, four bags uh, of items. And two of the bags uh, each contain uh, a Creon, uh, one of Jazz here. And you can see uh, he's uh, decked out in his white uh, attire, you could say. And uh, that's pretty interesting there. And then we have here a race driver, uh, mainly used for uh, Jazz in his uh, alt mode of a race car. So uh, that's pretty interesting. And then two bags here of uh, parts to put uh, Jazz together. What's interesting is uh, I was expecting uh, white 
uh, as a primary color uh, for jazz. Uh, what looks like on the packaging here uh, uh, is a little deceiving because uh, at first I thought it was white and just a little bit of shading here to make it look a more grayish color. Um, mainly because I see the other uh, two primary colors for jazz, uh, blue and red, so I was expecting this figure to be white. But in fact, it's actually gray. Uh, gray, black, and uh, with the stickers blue and red. So I guess uh, this particular jazz is a blend of the uh, toy or show jazz and the movie uh, jazz, uh, because in the movies, uh, jazz was primarily gray. And uh, I guess uh, he's got gray parts, uh, but uh, the blue and red colors from the show or comic. So, really interesting. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> sort of a deceptive type of advertising there. We're expecting it to be white, but it is in fact gray. But uh, we'll be right back and have uh, Jazz put together first in his uh, alt mode, that of a racing car. Okay, we're back and we have Jazz in his alt mode, that of a racing car. And we also have uh, parts left over from the build that go towards uh, Jazz in his bot mode, uh, just not used in the alt mode. And we have uh, Jazz in his uh, Creon mode, I guess you can call it. And let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Jazz, I guess, vehicle mode or alt mode that of a racing car although to me it looks more like a rally car than a racing car it really doesn't look sleek and fast but uh, looks uh, rather big and bulky and looks like a can go in uh, all sorts of terrain uh, uh, it's just the, the general design of the vehicle mode it just doesn't look very racy to me and just looks uh, like I said like a rally car almost so especially with the uh, open windows there and uh, uh, just uh, big bulky uh, nature but it's uh, still a uh, interesting design and you can see the Creon of the race driver in there uh, operating uh, jazz there and that's uh, actually uh, pretty interesting and, but the overall design, you can see, uh, I guess, the colors of jazz, of primarily the blue and red here. And, uh, I guess, silver uh, for uh, jazz in his movie mode. Uh, would have been nicer to have it in the white, uh, that's more traditional of jazz. But uh, they opted to go with silver instead on there. And uh, you can see his iconic number uh, of four there on the door, pretty cool. And uh, you got a spoiler here on the back, which is nice. And then uh, the racing stripe uh, on the top of there, uh, pretty cool. Oh, and the uh, Autobot logo is uh, towards the back. And uh, a lot of the uh, stripes, uh, the numbers, and the Autobot symbol, they're all stickers uh, that were applied uh, onto the parts on there. So very interesting. Uh, you got the more uh, the racing stripe here on the back. Uh, wheel well area so interesting there and uh, also um, some stickers uh, here I guess I don't know if those are fog lamps or not because uh, these are the headlights up here on there and uh, you see the uh, rubber like uh, wheels here they're all free rolling and there's a uh, enough clearance uh, where it, it actually rolls pretty smooth you can see they're on all uh, fours so pretty cool now the uh, Creon in there is actually uh, uh, driving the vehicle and uh, you can access the Creon by actually lifting uh, the top of the uh, car uh, mode roof you could say uh, up there and you can just pull him out uh, although uh, putting him into the uh, vehicle is a little bit more difficult I, the best way I uh, was able to do it is actually removing the windshields here and then putting the Creon in there and then replacing the windshield back in pl into place. But uh, that actually does flip open so that's actually kind of cool. And uh, the doors actually do open as well uh, but it's very interesting design here. Uh, let me just pull on the door. You can see that the doors on either side uh, swing open. But what's interesting is that they have this uh, Lego brick bar here uh, <laughs> on the top here. Uh, another reason why <laughs> I think it's more of a rally car than a race car. 
and uh, you could see uh, the Creon in within there so uh, very interesting guy uh, this was really added uh, more for stability of the figure so to keep it together so uh, that's kind of interesting there and uh, also on the sides here you have these uh, two black uh, pieces here on the side of I guess the side mirrors and it's interesting because the instructions do not show you uh, uh, how to put those on they, uh, really uh, the only time you actually see these um, black uh, pieces are on the uh, packaging uh, they're not in the instructions they don't tell you how to put them on there so I went ahead and uh, put them on there myself and it, I'm not sure if that's supposed to represent uh, his speakers uh, on there so but it looks uh, pretty neat on there so overall uh, a little bit bulkier in design uh, would have been nicer to have it either uh, wider or lower uh, to be uh, more of a uh, race car than it is so but still pretty interesting oh and there's uh, Jazz's name in the back uh, plate there uh, between the brake lights there and uh, another open area there uh, no uh, enclosure of pla clear plastic there so but uh, this is uh, Jazz in his alt mode that of a race car pretty interesting uh, but uh, I look uh, more forward to putting uh, Jazz together in his uh, bot mode and we'll be back and have uh, Jazz in his bot mode. Alright we're back and we have Jazz here in his bot mode and as you can see here the uh, bot mode build uh, does not have as many leftover pieces compared to the uh, alt mode build and uh, we'll move these over to the side here and take a look at Jazz uh, here in his bot mode and I have to admit that uh, I actually like uh, the Creo uh, figures in bot mode uh, a little bit more than I was expecting and uh, it's actually uh, a little bit nice and a lot of it has to do with the head sculpt uh, the rest of the body is kinda alright uh, but the head sculpt does add a lot to this figure now there are uh, a couple issues I do have uh, with the figure in bot mode especially one major uh, what I believe is one major issue and uh, we'll get to that uh, when we get there but first uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the overall view of uh, Jazz here and it's actually pretty decent uh, like I said uh, I like it a lot more uh, than what I saw pictures of and videos of uh, earlier and in person it actually does look, look a little bit better and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, with uh, the head uh, while I repair his arm, uh, which is one of the uh, issues I have with the figure. But uh, uh, taking a look at Jazz here, uh, and it looks very uh, much like the traditional Jazz, uh, the head there. And uh, especially uh, with the goggles there and uh, the silver face and the black helmet. It's actually uh, quite nice. And uh, it looks very much like the, uh, I guess, the original Transformers uh, heads, or the earlier Transformer heads of Jazz. And it looks uh, pretty good. And it's uh, decently articulated. It's on a ball joint uh, on there. So it's actually uh, nice to move around on there. So pretty cool. Now, taking a look at uh, the rest of the figure, you can see uh, portions of what would have been uh, his car mode or alt mode. Especially here with that, the fog lamp area there and parts of the headlamps over here. And uh, of course the, the grill in the middle of the chest. And you can also see uh, the racing stripes uh, that were on the hood. And also at the, um, I guess near the top of the car there. So uh, white down here. <laughs> it's questionable. At, uh, but also uh, as you move along, uh, move the figure around, you can see uh, the wing tipped areas uh, that was traditional with Jazz uh, being the car doors here and you can see uh, the number four there on either side and also upside down here uh, on the, um, what would have been the spoiler area for the car, you can see the spoiler right here and this actually does move up and down to reveal the inner parts of the figure there. So interesting and uh, you also have the wheels uh, along the arms here and the back of the arms that move freely as well as the wheels uh, near the feet there and uh, moving down here uh, one of the weaker uh, designs are, are the legs and uh, 
it's just uh, very simple and uh, just uh, compared to the more elaborate uh, design here on the top uh, it, you could tell it's just a major difference for just uh, in between uh, in the waist area everything up above the waist is actually kind of nice uh, while everything below it is just kind of blah on there and just really simple uh, on there they looks like uh, they did try to add a little bit of design elements here around the knee lower leg area but uh, uh, it's really just to make it look a little bit better and also to hide uh, one of the major uh, weaknesses of this uh, figure here in this mode and uh, going over uh, the articulation uh, this is uh, where uh, it's actually uh, like the design it's pretty good up, up above but uh, as you move progressively down it gets worse but uh, uh, we'll start off with the head. The head is on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around, uh, up and down a bit, even uh, side to side. So you can get a lot, a lot of decent poses on here. Uh, the arms uh, are on a hinge joint at the shoulder, so uh, basically it just swings up and down, and that's it. And uh, would have been nice to have the arm move forward and back, uh, but it does not uh, do that. And also uh, this here at the bicep area is held uh, really just by one single I guess pip you could say so it's uh, prone to uh, easily uh, coming off on there or actually two pips one up here and one down here but still it's pretty weak and uh, I've instinctively tried to pose the arm pulling it forward and uh, snapping it off all the time uh, I guess a, an alternative is to actually uh, put the pip down that way to have the if you want the arm uh, facing forward here, but uh, it's uh, eh, it's kind of weakly designed right there, and uh, wish uh, it was better designed. Uh, there is also added articulation at the what would be called the elbow area, so you can actually swing uh, the arm uh, up and down like that. And this is basically it for the design of the hand. <laughs> so uh, very interesting, simple uh, design for the hands there. And uh, one thing I notice is that uh, this figure does not come with his blaster. Uh, usually Jazz has a, a hand uh, blaster or sidearm. Uh, but uh, I guess he, you, you can construct one using uh, the, the leftover parts. But uh, and none of the parts are actually decently sized uh, to create a pistol. But uh, maybe a large, overly large pistol. But... Uh, but not really enough to make a, a decent sidearm there. Uh, as far as articulation at the uh, torso and waist area, there is none. And uh, what's uh, cool about uh, the legs here are the ball joints at the hip and ankle. Uh, they, they use pretty much uh, a similar uh, ball, I guess, socketed system that's uh, with uh, like Bionicle and Lego Bionicle and uh, Lego Hero Factory. So you can get the leg up and down and back and even uh, slightly side to side and even all the way around. Uh, I noticed that the ball joints, are, there's actually paint on the ball joint itself to add, I guess add friction and it is a relatively uh, uh, stiff on the uh, articulation so that's kind of nice uh, it's not loosey-goosey or anything there so that's kind of cool now the uh, I think th what is the uh, biggest weakness uh, articulation wise is that there is no knee articulation at all which really bites and uh, you really can't uh, bend the leg at all uh, it would have been nice to use maybe I guess one of the swivel or hinge joints here at the elbow because there's two of them here and uh, add it onto here, but uh, they didn't uh, do that, so which is unfortunate. And they decided to hide it uh, with this little bit of decoration on the front, so which is unfortunate. But uh, it's nice that there is a ball joint at the ankle, uh, similar to the hip. Uh, you can get it, uh, you can rotate it, bend it up and down, and uh, even uh, have ankle pivot on there. So you can still get some uh, wide stances, some forward and backward stances, but you can't bend the knee at all, uh, which is unfortunate. And also similar uh, to the shoulder, you can't uh, pivot it forward or back. So, uh, But still, it's de you can get some decent poses with the uh, figure here in its uh, bot mode.
Now we'll be back and take a look at the two creons that are included uh, with this jazz set. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the two creons that come included with one uh, jazz set. Uh, they're standing in front of uh, the two modes of jazz and I did purchase two uh, separate jazz sets so I can build uh, both modes at the same time. So just keep in mind that you can only build uh, one or the other uh, with a single set. But taking a look at the creons and we're going to start out with the race car driver here. And as you can see... Uh, the uh, Creon is generally the same size and shape as a Lego or Mega Bloks minifig. Uh, so they're uh, pretty compatible. Uh, there are unique design differences uh, to tell them apart. But uh, in general, uh, you can uh, play uh, with uh, either of the uh, two types of minifigs or other uh, uh, compatible uh, minifigures. And uh, this race car driver here is decked out in red in a red uh, racing suit and uh, he does come with two accessories uh, one a helmet which he's wearing now and also a uh, cap so when the race car driver is not riding around in jazz he can wear a, a, a cap there now uh, go ahead and pull the helmet off you can see the face of the Creo here a nice uh, happy expression on his face and uh, the uh, design element of the head is uh, unique to Creons and it's got a chiseled uh, jaw area compared to other minifigures so uh, that's kind of cool and uh, also on the uh, suit here you can see some uh, I guess tampoed or I'm not sure if that I don't think that's painted I think it's tampoed uh, on there uh, some designs on the, the suit in silver and you can see uh, his uh, I guess the fold line on his suit uh, painted in or uh, tampoed in black there pretty cool and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on the figure so you can take a look at uh, how he looks uh, wearing the cap so that's kind of neat kind of neat there and uh, articulation wise there are roughly around eight points of articulation for this uh, crayon and uh, start off uh, the head can go all the way around which is nice the arms are joined at the shoulder with a ball socketed joint so the arms can go all the way around as well as uh, out and in and the hands uh, go all the way around at the wrist which is nice and the uh, figure can go all the way around at the waist as well so that's kind of neat and the uh, legs are joined at the hip with a ball socketed joint as well allows the leg to go up down uh, to the back and uh, out to the side as well as uh, around a little bit uh, not too much and that's basically it for articulation so uh, uh, decent for a minifigure so you can get a variety of poses uh, with a minifigure at the bottom of the feet uh, you got the two uh, peg holes or pip holes uh, that you can place uh, onto the uh, uh, cre uh, on there or creo on there and also you got four on the back of the leg so in a city position you can uh, place them on the pips uh, on the uh, creos now taking a look at uh, jazz uh, the jazz creon and uh, it's actually uh, pretty cool uh, if I can get it into focus here there we go and now uh, you can see he's wearing uh, his trademark uh, helmet design there and uh, and all uh, you can see some of the details uh, the iconic four with the blue and the Autobot symbol on his uh, chest there and uh, some tampoed uh, headlights on there so that's kind of neat and uh, this uh, particular Creo is decked out in white as opposed to gray uh, that the uh, Creo Transformer is uh, designed in. So it uh, would have been nice, uh, like I said, uh, to have the Creo in white uh, to match the Creon. But uh, unfortunately, uh, they elected to go with gray. But uh, some uh, pretty cool design elements for this particular uh, Creon. Uh, the helmet does come off. You can pull it up up oh, and the head is stuck on there so hopefully I can get uh, the head uh, on there it's a bit difficult to pull the head off of there 
Try as I might, I can't seem to get the helmet off of the figure's head, but there are eyes underneath uh, uh, to go along with the nice smile that uh, I guess is typical of Jazz, uh, this happier nature. And uh, you can see also the uh, design elements of the uh, doors here to act as sort of wings. And they are simply uh, on the uh, neck peg there, and uh, which is uh, kind of neat. Let me put that back on there. And uh, you can also see that Jazz wields a pistol uh, or sidearm uh, that is uh, typical of uh, Jazz. Uh, unfortunately, they don't include it with the Creo, but uh, they do include it with the Creon, so that's kind of neat. And you can see that Jazz wields it uh, fairly well. It can clip on and off uh, in the hands there or slipped uh, through the top right there so pretty cool and uh, everything else is pretty much uh, a standard Creon design uh, with the legs there but uh, still a very nice uh, Creon I really like the Transformers uh, mini figures uh, I think that they're really cool and uh, they were my primary reason for purchasing the set is for the little mini figure of jazz although i like i said i do uh think uh the uh creos themselves are actually better than i what i thought they would be and uh which is also nice uh, especially if you can get it on sale uh, this is my casual peek into the creo transformers autobot jazz uh, constructible figure set uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time